Godspeed and party on. Spencer Lazara, MMA Interviews.tv, on the phone with Ross Pearson, winner of the Ultimate Fighter 9. Just had a win at UFC 127 over UFC veteran Spencer Fisher. How did you feel in that fight? Talk us through through the victory. Uh, yeah, you know, it was one of those fights that uh, I was looking forward to, but also I'm glad I got it out of the way uh, and got the victory, you know. Uh, after the Cole Miller fight, the last I had an operation of the day, uh, so obviously it was, this was the first fight back from the operation. Uh, a lot of the camp was working around, getting everything, getting me made back to full strength. And, uh, the camp wasn't, wasn't a perfect camp, obviously with the injury and having to, having to work around the, the injury itself. But, uh, man, uh, I, I went to that fight, I was nervous. Uh, the first round I was... Uh, I was really worried about my knee. All I could think about was uh, how hopefully my knee wasn't going to go, wasn't going to, uh, wasn't going to go wrong, you know. But after the first five minutes, I thought everything was good. I started relaxing, settling down, and sitting on my shots, you know. Uh, now that the fight's over and looking back, I'll get back to the gym. But I'm just getting like a confidence boost, uh, knowing that it is good. Uh, the injury's over now. I feel strong. Uh, so it's one of them fights that I'm, I'm glad I got it out of the way, got, got the to now and look forward and start pushing uh, for, for, for more fights and knowing that I'm sitting healthy. Yeah, do, do you feel like it was a good, uh, since you did have a knee injury, did you feel like it was a good opponent for you knowing that, you know, Spencer's the kind of guy who likes to just stand and bang and you wouldn't have to wrestle maybe as much? Uh, yeah, I think stylistically the fight was was matched up well, matched up well for us. Uh, you know, Spencer is, is a tough guy. We went into that fight knowing that he's a tough guy and he's not a guy that gets put away easy. You know, uh, he, he's solid everywhere. He's a good, uh, he's a good opponent, and I trained I trained hard for Spencer. Uh, he and uh, I'm sure he trained just as hard as for what I did, but uh, stylistically. It was the right fight at the right time for the way I was in the position with Renee. So uh, I'm happy with how the UFC put it towards us. I know your background is more judo and it is kickboxing, but on the Ultimate Fighter, obviously, people kind of saw you as a wrestler. So talk a little uh, bit about that transition. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I do, I do uh, come from a judo background uh, with also boxing. I boxed all the way from But you know, I'm. I'm I'm none of them anymore. I'm a mixed martial artist. Uh, I, I work everything. I work jujitsu, wrestling, boxing, Muay Thai. I, I, I try and put everything into each fight that I can. Uh, sometimes when you fight an opponent, when I saw Cole Miller, uh, all I wanted to do in that fight was stand. You know, uh, I didn't want to put any wrestling, any jujitsu in it. Why put my game at risk and put it in his hands? You know. Uh, all I wanted to do in that fight was stand up with him, but uh, unfortunately it didn't go to plan. Uh, but you never know, we'll, we'll do it again and see what happens next time. Yeah, are you, the, uh, are you looking forward to a rematch? Is that kind of on your agenda at some point? Uh, yeah, somewhere down the line. Uh, uh, there's definitely some unsettled business there. Uh, not taking anything away from Paulie Breed's friends who the night. I've never, I've never said anything that he's about. He beat us just because I was injured or anything like that. He beat his friends great. He's done exactly what I would have done if he was injured. He went in there and finished it, you know. But uh, I want to get back. I want to. I would like to fight him again and uh, see what happens if if I don't get injured. You know, I'm, I'm sure Cole will be up to fight us again. I'm sure he thinks that he's a better fighter than us. But uh, you know, you know, let's do it again. Uh, maybe I might need to prove myself a couple more wins and then get a shot at him again. And, uh, We'll, we'll go to, we'll put it down man. so what kind of opponents are you looking at maybe next is there anybody that that pops out that you'd like to test yourself against uh, yeah yeah you know there's a, there's a couple of guys out there that's uh, been been taught and asked trying to hype a fight up there uh, Mark Palazuski from the Blue Series he's mm -hmm. tried to call it out a couple of times I'm sure he's interested in fighting us uh, you know if, if if that's the right fight the UFC wants to see us fight then I'll tell the UFC anyone the one Anyone they want us to fight in the 155 pound division, I'll fight. I don't see anyone. I've always said that I'll fight anyone. Yeah, I think I've got the potential to 
skill and talent to beat anyone on the right day. Talk about the light heavyweight. Uh, excuse me, the lightweight division in the UFC. It's so stacked. Do you feel like it's the d deepest division? And you know, who who deserves a title shot? Maybe in your eyes, coming up. Obviously, Pettis was promised one. He's got to fight Guida, but Jim Miller looked great. Melvin Gillard's talking about he wants one. And yeah, you know, the, the lightweight division is the most stacked division in the, uh, in the UFC. You know, uh, with a lot of talented guys. Uh, yeah, I think Jim Miller has been on a run right now. I think uh, he's been performing well. Uh, I wouldn't mind a crack of fighting Jim Miller. I mean, I've got a couple more fights that I, uh, that I need to prove to the people that I'm worthy of fighting at top five ranked opponents. Uh, but yeah, that's a, something more I look forward to do, uh, to, to be pushing for them fights. Uh, yeah, you see him now with a lot. Just come off a big, big deal of Everton. That's a big fight for him. Uh, yeah. How has your life changed back home and, and around the world, I guess, as well, after winning the Ultimate Fighter? I know you were going to school to be a bricklayer, I was reading, and you know here you yeah. are now, Tough Nine champ, UFC uh, veteran. Yeah, you know, life totally changed uh, from winning the show, you know, obviously now I'm a full-time mixed martial arts fighter. Uh, traveling all over the world from UFC, doing trainings, interviews, being on television, things like that is something what I never expected to get out of my life. Uh, it, it just totally fits, changed my lifestyle around. Andre's hands, I mean, he lost to Seaver, but he looked so fast in that fight that I was, I couldn't believe it. How does that help you, yeah. you know, with your stand-up, having guys like him and Paul? Oh, unbelievable, you know, I think it's the best game in the country, you know, they've got the best guys around there. We all look out for each other, we all help each other, we're all good friends. Uh, you know, yeah, it helps it helped my career massively, training with the likes of them guys. Uh, and I'm sure coming together, and training with each other, I think that we've all evolved and helped each other out all the way through our careers. Give us your thoughts on Paul's situation right now and, and Dana White's comments about him, you know, not ever being welcomed back in the UFC. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a funny situation to be in, you know. I, I think I think I'm one sense that if I was Paul, I'd obviously be a little bit upset and obviously frustrated with not being able to get a contract with him. But also, you know, I think Paul could have handled things a little bit differently. It could have could have held his mouth a little bit, he could have acted a little bit more silly, you know. Yeah, you know, that's just where Paul is, and that's just the way he handles things. Yeah, you know, he's, he's, he's his own man, he does his own thing. Yeah. What are your thoughts on his fight? I mean, it looks like he's still going to be fighting on April 9th, so what are your thoughts on that fight? Yeah, it's a great fight for Paul, you know, I think Paul's a big next. Uh, I think there's not many well the in the world that can beat Paul. I mean, he's ready to go, you know, and I, I just think that the contract and the behind the machine things is holding Paul back a little bit, which is a shame because he's super talented. Mm -hmm. And what, did you watch uh, UFC 128? Did you catch John Jones' impressive performance by chance? What did you think of him? Yeah, John Jones looked uh, sharp, man. He, he looked in control the whole fight. Uh, uh, you know, it was, it was an amazing fight, but I'm a great display. Uh, yeah, what more can you say? He dominated, man. Who, who do you think would give him maybe a toughest test? Uh, you as a fan, who would you want to see face John Jones? Uh, in the light heavyweight division, probably. I don't know, maybe if Anderson moved up, he'd be the toughest test. <laughs> yeah. And uh, talk about quickly the growth of mixed martial arts in the UK, and also you fought, of course, just recently in Australia. So t talk about the growth of the sport. All I mean, obviously, all over the world, but especially in those two uh, areas. Yeah, uh, in England, it's, it's getting big. You know, the shows popping up everywhere, uh, gyms popping everywhere, guys fighting. Uh, literally, the, it, it's a growing sport. It's um, especially when the UFC comes on. There's a lot of media attention and things like that happen in the UFC. Johnny ESPN in England, and I can show it, I'm pretty sure. A lot of people stay up and watch that. Uh, so yeah, it, it's getting big, you know, uh, a lot of people take an interest in taking a note of it, uh, and I think there's a lot of great fighters, a lot of great potential coming from England.
England right now. All right, appreciate the time, Ross. Best of luck, uh, whoever you face, if that is Palaszewski or whoever else you get in the octagon next with. Yeah, man, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Godspeed and party on.